good morning. It's the we're at the crack of ten fifty a.m. Um, see people that brew at like six a.m. six o'clock in the morning and stuff. Just it's not it's not me at all. You people, you're ruining it for everybody else. No, a bit of a late night last night. I think I had a late night anyway. This is Sunday, so Sunday is my day of rest. Yeah. So it means you get a lie in. It means I've been drinking the night before. But it was kind of one of those one of those nights where it's like I had quite a few pints and then I had something to eat. And the last thing I remember was I put the plate down on the little table beside the sofa and then that was it. And I can't remember anything else until I went to bed. Can't actually remember going to bed, I just remember waking up this morning in bed. So one of those. So the Fitbit says it was like 2 a.m. after 2 a.m. I went to sleep, but who knows? Okay, so we are doing a uh, Schwartz beer today. What I'm saying is I'm on autopilot, okay? I don't have the brain capacity to to brew properly or to talk to you. So I'm just on autopilot, okay? That's what we've got there. Lots of nice light grain. Grain basket's actually in as well too. Stuff like that, very easy to forget on autopilot. So we're doing a Schwartz beer today, okay? Schwartz beer. And um, so I'm doing the same trick as I did the last time with the black IPA a few weeks ago. So we've got our black grains, same black grains, Carafa Special 3 over there, cold steeping. And then we'll be going in at the sparge tent. So all the liquid, all the grains will just be tossed in. So I wanted to do another black IPA, but then I didn't want to do one quite so soon and I had it in the back of my head that I wanted to do this. So I have done a few, not necessarily a Schwartz beer, but I've done a couple of Czech dark lagers and I've done an American dark lager. So a Schwartz beer is a German dark lager, isn't it? So. Uh, the only reason I'm calling it a Schwartz beer as well too is because there's actually German hops in it. So, so what we've got is 68% Pilsner malt, Pilsen, and 20.6% light Munich. So I've updated Munich. So that is one of the reasons why I'm doing a Schwartz beer because I want to. I'm getting back into Munich malt again after a few years away. And what better way than in a beer like this? But do you think a lot of um, if you were going to style, I think you can have something between 20% and 100%. 100% might be a little bit too much for me. So we've gone with the minimum. And then Chateau Wheat Blanc. And then obviously the Carafa in there. In terms of the hops, we've got 100 grams of hops going in, which is maybe a bit excessive. But we've got a whole 100 grams of Pearl going in. That's the whole packet, uh, which I bought says the 2020 harvest so they've been in there a couple of years i can't remember buying them so i presume it's like either 2021 maybe it's just some of these hops i have that seem to just appear from nowhere so i don't know maybe they were on a special or something or maybe i had a plan to use them in something and never around to it I was very tempted to use Cascade in this, but I'm trying to, I'm going to try and make some kind of lager, proper lager, and see what we can do. Mash, mashing in at 64 as well, and then in terms of the yeast, we're using uh, Lutra Kvek, Kvek, right quick. Look at that one. Hangover update. I've had quite a productive hour, it has to be said. So I've had breakfast, had a cup of coffee, had a little walk around, 15 minute walk around the, the area around here. Mended the hose, started to make dinner. You know what, the hangover, still there. Still there after all that. Okay, let's get this out. Got about 13 litres of sparge water there.
helicopter going to the airport. Airport's just up that way. Okay, so these this is the Carafa Special 3. It looks like someone's shot into a bowl. That looks like after eating a curry. Whoa. Okay, so there's no, there's nothing fancy here. It's just literally put that on top like that. That'll all run through and then we'll sparge over the top of that. We've got our IKEA thing. We've got our pizza tray. Pull this over this way. And then get the pump on. Pumps on about three quarters of the way, I think. Man. Usually enough. Maybe slightly more. Okay, come back when that's over. Okay, we have achieved, boys. We've got 20 grams of pearl hops going in. Godspeed. Hops. That's it. I'll see you in, I don't know, 40 minutes. Yeah, 20 months ago, that was 40 grams of pearl. Swatch beer IPA coming up. What is this beer anyway? I have no idea. Okay, that's taken me by surprise. And I did the bloody recipe. Seven minutes to go, it's another hop drop. I actually thought it was flame I don't know why. I did it in my head. That's another 40 grams of pearl. That is a big 100 grams going in. Excellent. We're nearly there. Okay, a little bit of a flap. The pump isn't working. I'm hoping that it's just because it's too hot. That's all it is. 95 degrees it's showing, although that's not necessarily accurate. So let's, tell you what, let's put it on. Hope for the best, shall we? We work. Looks good. Looking good. Panic over. Never in doubt. There we go. Never in doubt. Okay, that is the end of the Schwartz beer. That's not a Schwartz beer, Bruder. Okay, down there. It's. It's not a lager. I was gonna say maybe it's. A, I could just call it the dark lager. It's not actually a lager either, is it? Because I'm using the Voss or I'm using the Kvike. So, I don't know, it's a non-binary Schwarz beer, let's call it that. It, it, it doesn't identify as a, as a lager, so let's just leave it at that. If there's any non-binary people watching that, you know, no offence meant. You do you, okay? So, in terms of the, the gravity, we're looking at 1050 here. Now, this is a shot away above what I was aiming for. Now, the reason for that is because somehow in Brewfather my efficiency is sitting at 70.4 or something like that when it should be 74. That's generally what I get. So I've changed it. I've noticed it before. This is the worst about it. I've actually noticed it before um, and I never got I never fixed it. I never bothered to fix it. So that's just me all over, isn't it? That's just me. If you ever want to know anything, if you want to know a secret about me, that's me. Me okay. I'll see these things and then I'll just find an excuse not to change it. I'm gonna I am gonna fix it this time though. So this is turning out to be something like five and a half percent, something like that. Depends what it gets down to, obviously, with the Lutra. Yes, yeah, so here we go. This is it. So I'm gonna throw in a teaspoon worth of flakes, whatever that is. So let's just toss them in. Should I touch them with my hands or should I try to avoid it? I don't know. Yeah, I imagine it should be okay. Quebec, it's indestructible, isn't it? Got 22 litres. There's still some 
wort left in the, in the kettle so I could have got more I'm like about a litre up as well too on top of everything I'm about a litre up so it's just been a bit of a, a mess really isn't it okay that's about a teaspoonful I think so it's gonna I mean it's sitting a bit low at the minute you shouldn't really pitch Quebec unless it's like 30 degrees but it's like I don't know 16 17 or something like that so it is what it is it'll soon get up to temperature though. let's not worry about it so that is it, so I'll see you at the tasting. So yeah, it's grain to drain. That's what that is. This is the beer here, okay. It's all went badly wrong. It's got infected. Let's taste it. Just to be sure. Do I have the do I really have to taste it? Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely infected. It's the fermenter, okay. Um that was the second beer in a row that's gone through that fermenter. And it's infected. Now the first beer, I the only thing that first beer was like a kit, okay? So it didn't go through any of the brewing equipment. The only similarity is that because it was that fermenter and it tasted a bit funny that first beer so I give that an oxy clean obviously didn't work quite as well as I had hoped so we're gonna go the whole hog this time to get that thing cleaned and scrubbed and just we're gonna do an exorcism I think that's maybe the only way to, to sort this the power of pints compels you Take me anywhere. Take me anywhere. I'm home. Is it on? Oh, for God's sake.